Getting the fish on board. Careful handling at this point is required. When picking fish, hold them by the head to avoid bruising. Bleeding is a key step in raising the quality of your salmon. Bleeding live fish is best because the beating heart forces blood from the veins. Slitting the throat does not bleed the fish. To bleed a salmon, sever the gill rakers. One side is enough. You can pull the gills loose with your hand, a pick, or a knife. Let your fish bleed into cold water. The water bath allows the blood to be flushed out of the salmon flesh. This improves taste and extends shelf life by slowing the process of rancidity. Sometimes a salmon can appear dead or near dead and still bleed. Since any bleeding is better than none, if in doubt, bleed all fish. If you're holding fish for only a few hours, Bleeding fish can be placed directly into slush ice or a refrigerated seawater system. However, if the holding time will be longer, use a bleeding tank. Ideally, bleeding tanks should have a continuous flow of clean seawater to keep the blood from clotting. If you don't have a continuous flow set up, you'll need to change the water frequently. After the fish have bled out, Place them in easy to reach checkers. As the salmon come on board, handling with care will keep salmon quality at its finest.